Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and today we're going to do what is episode 5. This is a big one that I've gotten from uh, about maybe 7 people on my uh, YouTube channel that were asking me questions on, you know, that they were even being suicidal based on that. Again, do not, you know, there's no need to be uh, suicidal about it, you know, we could figure everything out. I don't know why my uh, camera is so blurry. That's on the S7. I'm not liking the video camera, so please, I do apologize for all the series that I'm filming with this. My Note 7 I gave away away due to technical issues, but uh, here we go. So we're going to be talking about lucid dreams and how to shut it off. Now, why is that important, how to shut it off? Because a lot of uh, my, uh, you know, um, I hate saying the word followers, but people that are on my page on YouTube... Uh, were telling me they had a lot of problems and they want to know how if there's an off switch because they want to do that because they're having a really hard time they can't sleep they're waking up in the middle of the night with night terrors and all kinds of things like that so I'm gonna explain to you first we're gonna talk about the nature of the beast why it's happening and all of that and then I'm gonna teach you guys how to stop it okay so the thing that is extremely important is to understand the nature of the beast People have dreams all the time. It could be just from your subconscious, subconscious, you know, everything that comes just to uh, to your head and uh, suddenly you dream it, probably even repressed memories, uh, past, you know, memories of uh, even, uh, you know, even though it's really rare, like I explained it, but even like past lives uh, for very, 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 very few. I want to really emphasize that it's, it's not really common. But uh, you have past lives that could contribute to that. A lot of people that believe that about past lives, that they have past lives and all that stuff, is, uh, I explained it in my other video, it's really you're picking up vibes from a spirit that's in your house from a past, you know, from his life or her life, and they're giving you that uh, kind of feel. Even if they don't know you're there, they're giving off that kind of energy where it, and you end up getting you know taking their uh, memories and that so reincarnation happens extremely rare I mean God could do everything obviously and anything so I, I don't like saying that because it's up to God but I'm saying in terms of cases it is extremely rare and I know this for a fact because like I told you I can see I can feel I can talk I can see the correlation between spirits in the home and people who claim they have past lives and then I tell them no you have a spirit in the home exactly how they describe their uh, their uh, you know life and all of that stuff um, you know that's that's pretty much what it is give me a second here I got somebody texting me here um, so that that's what it is so now the nature of the beast what happens is a lot of spirits who know you're there um, basically they come you know they come to you and they want to speak to you the thing is you're not as clairvoyant as let's say, I don't know why this is, give me one second, sorry about that. I'm just going to shut this off right here, put it on airplane mode that looks like, <laughs> sorry about that. So even if you, you know, even if you are clairvoyant but you don't know that yet, what happens is they come to you and they want to uh, talk, okay? So they want to talk through you or they want to let you know so you can help them. So what they do is they come to you in a dream. Why? Because in, the, in reality, you know, you know, this happens to everybody, whether you're clairvoyant or not, you sometimes get these lucid dreams. They're communication sometimes from the other dimension, okay? Where the people who are called dead here, people who moved on from this realm to the next, who passed on, right? So what happens is they want to communicate so they give you these lucid dreams, okay? I explained this in full detail about sp the spiritual world. Some of them want to do great deeds, but the thing is that they have rules in that dimension, so they give you clues into things and trying to help you in your life. It could be a loved one who's trying to help you in your life, or it could be somebody who wants you to solve a case. I remember one time I went into a house. I am not going to mention it because it is extremely controversial uh, because there's uh, a lot of people who, you know, they say that you shouldn't go there. I wanted to go there to prove it that it was bullshit when I went there I felt the energy I knew that I was wrong it, it was not bullshit and I because I'm a you know I'm a skeptic on all of these cases because there's a lot of cases out there that are fake so I said you know what I wanted to speak but for some reason uh, in certain areas spirits are a little bit scared to talk to me so I could still feel them I can I can you know even smell them if they give off uh, an aroma of something familiar like some some somebody says I smelled my grandma's uh, perfume in that in the room you know so they could do all kinds of things to manipulate things so whatever the thing is I went to sleep 
purposely. I said, maybe they'll come to me in my sleep. Now, why? In, your, in the sleep state, they know that you are not going to hurt them. Uh, the, uh, so they feel a little safe. Some of them feel a little, you know, because you have all these idiots uh, going over there. And I call them idiots because they think they're Ghostbusters. And they go over there thinking they know anything about spirits, calling them, you know, whatever, ghost. And they want to go and track them. And then they do all kinds of stupid garbage that they don't even know what they're doing. And that actually can draw energy. And also it kind of mocks them. And they don't want, they don't want, you know to waste time on that but at the same time they're also careful not to waste energy on stupid people so the thing is because of that they sometimes I don't know why but a lot of spirits have a hard time with me they fear me I don't know why but uh, any place I go to that has the or whatever when I walk in there they're usually not there anymore they hide from me and it takes time for me to actually be there and then once I'm there for a while and I keep visiting eventually they kind of like pop their heads out you know those who know you're there I'm not talking about the spirits that don't those you could see them and it's such an easy case to solve but the ones that you know know you're there they actually hide and some of the the negative spirits always hide from me because they know what I'm capable of doing in terms of binding and all of that they already kind of can tell maybe I don't know other spirits talk to other spirits uh, anywhere in the world I don't know how that works but the thing is that's the nature of the beast. So they look at you as that's you in a safe state. Or if you're not clairvoyant, they come to you to try to talk to you. And because in your mind, in your subconscious, you have doubts. Those blockages are not going to make you see spirit. So what do they do? They come to you like, you know why dogs and cats could see? Because whatever they see, they believe. In a dream world, when you don't know it's a dream, they come to you because what you see is you believe. You know, you believe. Me, like every time I, I wake up, I... I bite my, you know, here to make sure that I am, uh, that it is a dream or not. And I'm going to teach you that right now to get into that. And that's part of how to shut it off. But we'll get into that a little later. Now, the thing is, they want to talk to you to leave you uh, messages in your head. Now, it could be a negative entity who just enjoys tormenting you, in which case I understand. Uh, and I'm going to teach you guys how to shut it off. It could be a uh, evil entity that wants you to kill yourself if he sees that you're you know, like the ones that contacted me, you guys are so quick to jump to, I want to kill myself. So many people, I don't want you guys to commit suicide. You have no idea how special you are and what a bond you have and what powers you have. And you're going to let that shit all fucking take you away. And like, and like, you know, that that's what they want you to do. The, the negative entities want you to do this because they don't want you to report them. They don't want you to report them to people like me or other people like me that, that, that can bind them and kick their ass and make their, their eternal life eternal whatever uh, lives a living hell uh, a real hell even though hell doesn't exist but a real hell you could create a universe for them in, in a very uh, uh, hell type of way so the thing is because of that don't you know guys stop rushing to these stupid conclusions and yes it is stupid because you're beautiful you're special you you have the power to affect the world negative and positive but damn it fuck you guys are the best in terms of humble and the best of the best to change the world in a positive way so stop fucking talking like that all right i care about you and i hate seeing good people go to waste and that's exactly what i'm talking about and i want to tell you guys that so you guys fully understand all right I talked many people out of committing suicide, but I hate even using the word, I talked them into it. What is there to talk you into? You are special beings in this world given a power. I understand it could be overwhelming. I get it, but you guys got to snap out of it, okay? So that is just the nature of the beast. It could be a negative entity that's fucking with you. Or it could be a good entity that's trying to solve something. Like probably he got killed. Probably he wants to tell his wife that he died from cancer. And he wants to tell her that he's on the other side and he's okay and he loves her. She could be even dead and he doesn't even know it. You get it? So that's what it comes down to. Okay, that's the nature of the beast in terms of you getting lucid dreams. Or it could be your relatives helping you out, trying to show you a path to go to because a certain path you're on is destructive and they're trying to help you which gives them a deed it could be a good entity doing that too because it gives them a deed and at the same time they want to help you out they love you they care for they care about you okay they want to see you succeed all right so that's the nature of the beast now how do you shut it off very simple guys okay every time this is the way when i was young i told you like i i i used to say i'm cursed i, I don't know if i'm cursed or blessed with this but um I have everything. 
uh, and I, and it's not good. It's not good because uh, that I know how that feels. How you guys feel overwhelmed? I was born with this, and I still feel o overwhelmed for the majority of my life. So I understand fully what you guys are talking about, but. Don't rush into killing yourself. There's other ways around it. Okay, so what I train myself is, how do you know when you're dreaming, right? When you're and stuck in a dream state, you think that it's real. The first thing I do every time when I wake up is bite the corner of my, uh, you know, the, the uh, my my gum, uh, my cheeks, whatever the inside of my cheek. When you do that, if you don't feel pain, you're, you're dreaming. Okay, so that's what I do every time. So even when I wake up regularly, like here, I'm like, eh, I wake up, I do that to make sure I'm not dreaming. I, you have to get into that kind of mindset and it becomes like second nature. Therefore, when you are in the dream, you can manipulate that dream. And when you manipulate that dream and you know fully how to fu you know, function in it, because whatever you see, you know, you believe, but once you know it's a dream, you can change things. Okay, so, so when you do that, you can shut every communication in the dream world completely with you because once they see you're in full control those blockages that you have in the in the you know physical world you're carrying it off over there is it good i don't like shutting shit off because i like opening myself but when i do that i know it's a dream i let things happen if i see it's an evil fuck i make his life a living a living hell usually none of the evil ones even approach me in a in um you know uh, whatever in a dream but uh, you know because i guess they I guess uh, they're terrified of me the thing is the good ones are always there and when they want to talk to me i sit there i look I, I i once i know it's a dream i could talk to them like i am in the physical world i am full in full control of everything it's like being in the physical world except i can turn this into a rock you know what i mean you have like special powers in your dreams you know it's it's crazy it's pretty cool but um, that's what happens. Once it's like something out of Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm teaching you here. Bring them in, blah, blah. But you know that. Bring your power from the physical into um, the spiritual. So if you want to shut it off and it's too overwhelming for you, hey, look, I totally get it. Not everybody is is geared for this. I totally, I totally get it. I didn't, you know, I, you know, wanted to shut down a lot of my powers, and it's almost impossible. But if I had an off switch. Most likely, I would probably have done it uh, back back before. Now, I kind of learned to accept it, and I kind of see that, you know, obviously, whatever God gives you, there's a reason for it. But if also you shut it off, there's a, re you know, the, God permitted it to happen. Therefore, that's a reason for that, too. So if it's not for you, and it's really tormenting you, and is a danger to your life, and really taking hardcore on you, that you know, stuff on you, that's what you do. Okay. Another thing you could do is till you train yourself to have that in second nature, which could take anywhere from months to years, really. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, so, uh, you know, some people I've seen do it in weeks, some uh, in days, uh, you know, in a week about. And some, uh, you know, took them about two, three years before they did it. I mean, where do you fall into that category? But remember, you could shut it off uh, merely just by doing this. If you keep reminding yourself in the dream, whenever you do that, you're in control. And then they'll shut off. Now, another thing is if you're if it takes you two to three years or you don't want to wait, uh, what you could do is, is if you look at my past videos, look at the um, uh, anti debook uh, video, which I show you guys with White Sage, how to do uh, this thing with smoke. You read the Shema Israel and you read Psalm 91. Okay, it's very important you read that and read it with Kavana, with passion, with uh, um, meaning and understanding. Uh, because when you do that, you really feel those words really echoing in your heart and you don't fear anything. And uh, the spirits understand fully what Psalm 91 is and what Shema Yisrael is. It's so funny, even the, the ones that are Buddhists, the ones that you don't even know what the heck Judaism, you know Judaism, Israelite is all about. They don't even know what the heck Torah is. For some, under, for some reason, they understand that line, Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Uh, you know, they understand that entire line. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much uh, what it comes down to. And that's what I want you guys to understand. So you could do that smoke thing uh, before you go to bed, all right? And what you do is, in the end, as I show you in that video, you breathe it in through your nose. Now, it's a carcinogen. I don't recommend you doing, you know, do that every time. But, you know, just a little once every month would do, you know, would be okay. But I would do this like... Uh, twice a month uh the the you know purification all over your house and over you and those spirits that are contacting you will no longer be there to contact you therefore that could give you kind of a buffer zone to make this and keep working on this 
okay? Every day you wake up and you will see it will be a second nature and it will be gone. Lucid dreams will be gone. I don't, uh, I mean, I like having them. I open myself, but the, you know, there's other things in me like seeing, hearing. When I was younger, I couldn't control that, uh, you know, and it got overwhelming. Even now, sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming, but I, you know, the thing is, when I was younger, I wanted to shut it off. And if there was an off switch, I, I'm not even going to deny it. Uh, I would have done it. So I'm not judging you at any, at, by any means. If you do it, you do it. This is totally understandable. And believe me, God does, you know, understand that some people cannot handle it. And, and you know, and maybe it was just meant for you to give you a taste for in the future you might be able to handle it. So God's kind of giving you that little power there to tr try to get used to that. And then maybe in the future you'll be ready for it. And maybe you won't, you know, but it gives you a taste of uh, the connection uh, so that's really what it comes down to so if you guys have any questions at all be sure to see all the uh, uh, other episodes um, you know that I just made uh, this uh, like so far we're on the fifth episode so just watch all the episodes they all give you a little bit of each things now those that want to have lucid dreams those who are opening themselves up to it but again but a clairvoyant you don't want to do this when you're not born with it or you know, because it could come to you all at once and it will be overwhelming. This one has an off switch though. So, I mean, there is a way to shut it off, but it's just, you don't, you know, when you do that, you're kind of welcoming things that you probably don't want to, don't need in your life. A lot of us as humans, we, you know, everybody likes to complicate their lives. I know they say they don't believe me. Every human being out there likes to complicate shit. And, uh, you know, drama Queens, everybody likes a little bit of drama, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I hated it. Uh, and, uh, I'm thanking God that I was born with this and that I didn't do something stupid, like open myself up to things that I'm not ready for. But the thing is, um, when you do this now, when I'm when I'm going to teach you this, I want you to understand that, you know, you're going to be welcoming an element into your life that most likely, even though you shut off the communication, most likely will always be a part of you. Okay, you understand, like throw a rock in the water, it'll always be a part of that, you know, water, unless somebody digs it out, which is almost impossible in this case, even though you could shut it off, it'll still be a part of you. So this is why I don't recommend it to people. Uh, this is until now why I am probably thinking I will not do the binding uh, episode. I don't know if I want to do that because in the wrong hands, this could be disaster. Believe me, because if you don't know what the heck you're doing, it will mean disaster. And I'd rather just not uh, put people in, in harm's way. Uh, but the thing is, what you guys got to understand is what I'm about to show you right now is something that you need to have total responsibility. This is not going to be mine. If you're tormented later on and somehow you can't shut this shit off, that's on you. So I'm telling you right now, don't do this. Um, I really, really don't recommend it. But to those that are already experiencing it and want to hone into it a little more to try to get deeper and deeper into it and devil into it a little bit, I'm going to show you guys what to do. So basically what you do is you, uh, uh, to me, certain things help me. Uh, something like a crystal lamp, um, a salt lamp, those things, crystals, uh, anything that brings calm to your energy. Okay, people call it aura, whatever, but uh, energy. And uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clear your mind. Okay, I don't care how you do it. Just do it to me. Meditation, I saw you, I showed you in my other videos. So you do the belly breathing and check out the other videos for that. And what happens is just empty everything out and draw energy from the, from the ground. But in this case, okay, I don't want you to draw just energy. I want you after to draw it. And this could be a little bit draining. Release every ounce of energy in your body back into the earth. You'll get it back but for this. Back into the earth. I want everything, I want you, as you're meditating, to, to you're going to feel some tingling sensations, it doesn't matter. Let it all go out and empty out into the, into the earth. You're going to draw it back in anyway, but not right now. So then what happens is you kind of flush it out, you empty your head. Now this is which, what's a little bit terrifying here. You're going to have to go to sleep. <laughs> so when you sleep, keep doing that belly breathing and eventually you will see it will drift off now you could have candlelight i don't recommend you do that because you know you could set fires with those lamps uh crystal lamps or salt lamps which is really good the himalayan salt lamps or whatever they're called um they're really good um and just slowly drift off 
Now when you do that, there's a problem. Um, you're opening yourself up to a world of Dibukim. The thing is, you need to know how to control that. <laughs> you see, this is why I don't recommend this to everybody. When you go to sleep, go to sleep and you drift off, you're going to start having dreams and that you're going to call nightmares. Because it's it's not really a nightmare. It's what happens is all these spirits are seeing this guy who can, they can jump on and do a debuk because you're a shell of a person right now. And you're easy. You're, you're very easy to, because there's no, you know, anything protecting you or anything like that. So what you got to do is you got to let them come in. This is how horrible this is. And then what happens is you're going to have a, a, you will have most likely a nightmare because unless you have like really good entities, but even with them, it's like because all of them want to talk to you, you're going to have like a kind of like a, I can't explain it, but like it's like a million ideas in one in your head that's going to give you anxiety. When you wake up, you will probably have some form of anxiety, uh, a little bit like on the edge feeling. Uh, that, these are, re this is really, really bad what I'm about to tell you, okay? So again, you're not conjuring anything, but they will be coming regardless everybody in your house that is and uh, if they tell somebody on the outside the things from the outside will come in which is a little bit dangerous what happens is they come into your body body and then they give you all this information now if they're good you have nothing to worry about they won't be a debook on you but again even the spirits that don't know you're there if they, now when they're going to give off emotions like crying and everything your butt is going to feel it and uh you're going to have dreams about it but also in in, in life in the physical realm, you're going to feel even more than you ever felt. You will be very sensitive to things that are around you. This is why, again, I don't recommend you do this. But uh, those that already have it and are trying to you know, get into it. Now, what you do is immediately after that day, uh, most likely you have uh, some kind of a debook. What you're going to have to do is, is do that smoke that I show you in my other videos. And what you do is, after you do that smoke, I'm going to ask you to do a very simple thing. And that is meditate, just like I showed you in the other episodes, and draw energy from the from the earth. And imagine that this blue ball is, is glowing and is going every point in your body. Make sure you take your sweet ass time. Don't rush it and be like, oh, it's all boom, out. That's not how it goes. You have to take your sweet ass time. Let that ball slowly, slowly, very slow, like this. Very, very slow, like, like this. Uh, you see it from the side, like that. Okay, if you go even like this, that's not going to do it slow like this. And it's collecting all of the red energy around you. And believe me, you'll be filled with that. You'll be filled also with some orange influence because that's the maggots that, uh, you know, I'm not going to go too much into that. But those you got to destroy. So what you do is that blue thing is taking going through everything. Then it comes over here, goes through the like sinuses and all of that stuff. And then out your mouth with all the crap and all the shit and it just make it go away okay once you do that you're gonna be energized now with a lot of energy you see I'm even thinking about it and already I feel tingling sensations in my in my hands you see what I mean like look how red this thing got now my hands got red when it was white before <laughs> so it's like you know you got to see uh, it, it just it, it, it hits you and you're gonna feel that tingling sensation and once that happens I recommend doing twice a month the smoke and doing this all the time and eventually those spirits will be gone okay now when you do that those spirits will be you know will realize that you have you're not really shutting them out because you're still telling yourself I don't want to shut it off and in the dream uh, world you're you're gonna learn to you're gonna know when it's a dream because you're gonna do this but at the same time you're gonna sit there and you're gonna say I want in the dream world because you're gonna know it's a dream Anybody has an issue, please come forward or however you say it, uh, talk to me uh, what, what's on your mind and they're going to tell you. They're going to come out, they're going to talk to you and you're going to see what's going on. That's how you do uh, lucid dreams. Some of them will not be too quick to come out so then they're going to give you uh, hints like let's say, you know, may God forbid this from happening but let's say you're uh, in your path. You were supposed to get run over by a car tomorrow, okay? So what happens is they're going to show you a car uh, that smashed on one side, okay, of you here, and then suddenly you're looking to this side and you see it smashed on the same car, and you look this way, it's not there anymore, it's on that side. You're gonna know automatically that that is uh, probably a, a message, and that's what I mean. They give you messages to hint at things and events to happen, and then slowly, slowly, as you hone into it, they're gonna start talking to you, and you know, things will be become a little bit more clear, okay. 
Um, I think what we're going to do is next episode, we're going to talk about visions. I know it's kind of in the dream realm and I should probably do it all in the same episode, but I really don't want to do, I think I covered enough here. And on the uh, visions, uh, people who have visions and suddenly, you know, all kinds of visions, I'm going to explain those in the next episode. So be sure to tune in to, uh, what is it? This is episode five. So episode six. Okay. Uh, uh, make sure you guys uh, tune into episode six and see visions and I'll t talk to you guys about that now I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna get pissed off that I'm not teaching you guys binding but um, there's a reason behind it I don't know I'm I, I don't know I mean it I'll tell you what if if I could see something that'll be a little bit more on the safe end I will do an episode on that and teach you guys how to do it and uh, that's it but I, I I'm really serious when I say something you know it's also a big sin to do it if you do it the wrong way. <laughs> For instance, if there's a good spirit in your house and you just don't want it here, you can't bind him, okay? If he's buried underneath your house, you can't bind him. You know, you only do that to negative entities that contribute death and horrible things to your family. Or, you know, terrify, uh, t you know, like you have an old woman in your in your house that's your, your grandma or great-grandma, and she has a very poor heart condition, and these spirits are tormenting her to freak out and have a heart attack, then yes, you can do it. If they don't leave, you can do it. But, you see, the thing is, I know if I teach this... People are going to be doing this even for fun and just like saying, oh, guys, I got haunted rings, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> collect them like Pokemon. You can't do that. That's actually a very, very horrible sin. And even the ones that I bind, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, I do release them, uh, whether I put them in, uh, I usually put them in jewels and stuff like that. And I throw them into the water. So they're buried under, you know, under the water and nobody can find them and they're just eliminated. Those are for the complete assholes. I'm talking about really, really negative, horrible entities that the world can be without. The thing is, even that I, I, I don't like doing, but you know, I, that's why I know I got a lot of requests from you guys. I, I'm going to really have to think about this, and I hope you guys can understand. This is a big, big responsibility, and if I teach you guys, I will, I mean, even though I'm not to blame for actions, that's a stupid Rav rule. The thing is, if I'm teaching you guys, I don't want to be, even though I'm not responsible for it, I don't want to know on my head that you died from something I, I, I taught. Or that you were tormented, or that you will be tormented in the next, uh, tormented. Well, yeah, in the next, uh, dimension. So I don't know yet. Uh, I'm gonna have to see what I can, yeah, what it is. Even talk to spirits and see how the heck that is, and we'll see how that is. But, uh, do, uh, you know, on the sixth, sixth episode, we'll talk about visions. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I'm gonna be releasing these probably every week. Uh, so definitely tune into that and if you have a, you know I'm not leaving an end mark on it so if there's any comments and things you want me to cover I will cover and make other episodes based on those topics so do me a favor definitely contact uh, me on the comment section below if you're shy in a private message like a lot of you have been doing and uh, I will get you know I will get to that so anyways let me know what you guys think like and definitely subscribe make sure you subscribe so you're the first one to see these videos as soon as they come out have a good one y'all take care bye